Okay, we're gonna go on ahead and we'll just work left to right here. I'm going to use this camera and again, I'm gonna hold command option and I will drag that camera up. Now you'll notice I have a little bit of a problem here and that is I drug that camera up but it didn't show up or it's kind of showing disappeared. It's actually not disappeared, it's simply, if I look over my layers palette, it's simply underneath that Stewie copy. So again, uh, some of this is from previous uh, lectures about how to keep our layers organized or, or not organized but move things up and down. I have two choices. I can either just drag that camera copy up to the top or I could, because it's going to be a reoccurring problem, I'm just going to go ahead and drag my big Stewie all the way down to the bottom so that it doesn't happen every single time. All right, so the first thing is we're going to be trying to choose out or pick out this eyeball. Now I've got, uh, I'm going to use this area for an eye and that's going to bring us to our first tool here which is the marquee tool. Now there's a couple versions of the marquee tool, the rectangle and the elliptical and in this case since we're going for a circle we're going to use the elliptical marquee tool. Now this elliptical marquee tool is doing some sample drags here and you can do that while you're playing along. It doesn't uh, always behave nicely and that's where we're going to start looking into modifier keys. Um, the circle tool starts, if I try to drag a circle around this eye or this lens, it can be relatively difficult to get it lined up right. It'll always be a little high or a little low. So one of the modifiers, the first modifier to teach you is holding the shift key. If I hold the shift key and drag up and down, you can see that it's going to drag a perfect circle. So that's a good piece. So you'll want to write that down, remember it, what have you. By the way, make sure that you're zooming in when you're doing these kind of selections. We want to be good detail oriented. The second thing is, is if we want to, instead of dragging from the top left, which can be hard to exactly figure out where the top and the farthest left point is on this, if I hold the option key, it will actually drag from the center. So I can click in the center of the eye and then I can use the option key. So I'm holding option and shift now and it is dragging me a perfect circle from the center. So when using the marquee tool, and it doesn't matter whether it's a rectangle or not, if I hold shift, I get a perfect circle or a perfect square. If I hold option, I can choose the center point, which is what I'm gonna do here, and drag and get a perfect circle. Now it still can be kind of difficult to exactly position this the way I want, so I am going to show you one last thing before we make this copy. And that is once I have a selection made, I can use the arrow keys to move that selection around. So that's three different sets of uh, tips for you to get this selection just right. Now I've got those ants made up. I'm on the camera copy layer, which is what I want. I'm going to go ahead and cut. It should disappear. And then I'm going to paste, which is command V. And now I've got myself a nice little eyeball. I can get rid of this layer because I don't need it anymore. I can make this a little bit bigger. I'm holding shift while I drag so it stays in proportion. I'm going to go ahead and rename this layer now because it's the eye. And then I'm going to make a duplicate copy of it using, I'll use command J this time, command J. And it doesn't look like it made a copy, but that's because they were stacked right on top of each other. And now I've got my eyeballs. If I've decided that I don't like the size, if I want to make one bigger or whatever, I would suggest that you always select both of them by holding shift before you resize. That way they'll resize together. So that's how we can get Stewie's eyes. And that taught you the marquee tool.